Greetings pot fans, I'm leaving home and I'm never looking back. I'm going for a walk because it's really bright outside and also I didn't want to do anything to my hair so the hat is actually justified and the sunglasses, both are justified. So uh, yeah, I'm going for a walk. Let's see where this takes us. Recently I've been watching a hell of a lot of Mike Falzone and he seems to do this a lot. He's gonna leave his house and talk. He always has a topic. I do not, I just wanted to get out of the house because look at how beautiful it is all around here and stuff. So yeah, don't even know. I'm at the park, woo! Um, yeah, and I've realized on the way down here I feel like a goddamn poser or something. I don't know. It's like, you know, the floppy hat, the sunglasses, the open shirt, the massive camera, the obscure reference on a t-shirt, and of course, you know, this almost well-kept facial hair. It's not well-kept at all. I don't have the, you know, ability to <laughs> figure out how to do that. But yeah, fun times. There are people up there, so I'm gonna walk back a little bit. Like, I feel like this is what someone who studies the arts would look like. And I don't do that. I'm too lazy for that. Like, if you handed me a sketch pad and a pen and said, draw someone who studies some form of art, I'd draw a really nice stick man wearing these clothes. Oh, I hate these hats. They're horrible, but my hair looks crap under this. So, yeah, I care about what I look like. Good times. It's just walking along and it feels like it's going to fall off all of the time. This is the worst hat ever. It belongs to my brother. I should give out to him for this. But I was like, all of my nice hats are disappeared. Yes, all of my nice hats are disappeared. Good job, me. Uh, I don't know where my Dark Link hat is, which makes me sad. And yeah, all that kind of fun stuff. Oh, and since I got to the park, uh, you know, the sun has already gone away. Welcome to Ireland, where you get like 30 minutes of sun a year. Ah, uh, that's exaggeration. It's more like 32, but you know, rounding and stuff. <sighs> Come to Ireland. You'll get to maybe experience the sun before it disappears forever. <sighs> yeah, so the sunglasses probably look stupid now, but I don't care. I look swag, which is possibly a bad thing. I don't really know what these terms mean anymore. I'm an old man now. Ugh. Also, anybody who's waiting for like Kaizokukan video montage thing, that will come eventually. It's just, I haven't gotten the footage yet. Blame the PRO. Just like send a tweet uh, at Kaizokukan saying something along the lines of, y'all be crap, where that video at, get the footage to pod. You can actually do that if you want, I don't mind. Um, but yeah, I'm the main problem. I'm too busy, gotta work and stuff. Can't meet up with the people who have the footage. And of course I couldn't get any footage because I was too damn busy. Uh, so yeah, good times. Isn't this place beautiful? Like, look at it. It's, it's the greatest. Yeah, and like, you know, you've got all these fancy things all over the place. Jeez, it's a good day. <laughs> I decided that I had to get outside because yesterday I watched Netflix all day. I've been watching Fringe because uh, I have season one on DVD and I really enjoyed it and then I never watched any more, so I've been watching season two, and it's pretty good, it's interesting, like it's different and nice, and I love it. Ugh. You know, I really hate old buildings, they really ruins my day. <laughs> oh, uh. Sun's back, finally, after all these years, after 10,000 years I'm free. <sighs> Walking around here is actually a really weird experience at the moment, because I used to come down here fairly regularly. So every time something would change, I'd be like, oh look, they added this, or they added that. But they've changed a lot in the past six months, probably more, probably about a year. I don't get out much, but I'm just kind of like, where did these trees come from? What is this sign? What does it mean? What year is it? Ah, it's very strange. <laughs> so I'm just walking around being like, this is not the park I know and occasionally frequent a long time ago. That's English, right? <laughs> but yeah, it's strange and different. And yeah, like this place used to just have that tree. And now it's got like these trees all around me. Look at all these trees that are just, as in the ones like that one, we fear change. Ugh. And there are so many awesome dogs around today that I just want to like, you know, cuddle and be friends with. But unfortunately, all of their owners appear to be human and I'm not the best at dealing with those, you know, making friends off the bat with those things. I don't get it. Oh yeah, rear view mirror. Just kind of looking at this, making sure that no one's coming up behind me, thinking that I'm weird. I should also look forward. I do not want to trip, but yeah, 
so many pretty dogs. And there was this one white one and he was just like plodding along with no lead next to his owner. And just, he just like looked up and he's like, dude, where are we going now? Dude, what's happening? Come on, let's, let's have some fun. Oh, I love dogs. I want, want my own dog. Somebody get me a dog. German Shepherd would be nice. Because they're so big and cuddly. You know, the dog at home, she's fine. But she barks at me a lot and she doesn't seem to like me and, uh, you know, she's like a cat size and those kind of sized animals, they don't really like to be cuddled all that much. They seem to think it's some form of attack and they attack back. Which is not what you want when you're going for cuddles. If I ever like have a dubstep album, I want to call it Sudden Drop. And every now and then, just out of nowhere, there will, you know, there'll be no build up or anything. It'll just go... That's kind of like a lot of dubstep. But you know, sudden drop. Just, the bass just drops out of nowhere. And then it goes back to the song normally. It's not even gonna be a dubstep album. It's just gonna be an album, like an indie record that has uh, dubstep drops out of nowhere. It's gonna be good. You know, I still find it super upsetting and I'm about to sound like old man pod right here. But <laughs> today's a beautiful day. And as you can see, this place is awesome. And there's barely anyone here. Come on, it's a Sunday. What else are you doing? Get outside. I know I'm completely hypocritical because this is my first time doing this in a long time, but you know, if you have a family, bring them here. Bring them outside, chill out. You know, meet dogs. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's strange that there's so few people around. Like the fact that I can just walk, talk, walk around and talk to camera, it makes me, Makes me sad. Where are all the people at? Where y'all at, people? Like, to be fair, there are quite a few people, but they seem to just be here to walk their dogs. I don't know. It seems like a good place for, you know, if you had a young family, and you wanted to just take them outside, and let them jump in puddles. Come on! Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Old Man Pod, out. Blue, red, and yellow, but no superheroes. Puddles, 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 puddles. I, yep, I'm not wearing suitable attire to walk into the puddles, but you know, if I was, then that'd be cool. My shoes may be water resistant, but they're the only shoes I have. Not really, I have my Star Wars ones, but uh, those are uncomfortable, and I'm trying to keep them for the premiere because I'm a massive nerdy boy. <sighs> you know, I want to figure out how this happened, but I'm stumped. Hey, waka waka. So a couple of minutes ago I saw like a dad and his son out cycling and like you know they passed me and they went past some ruins and the, the dad just went oh wow look at that and, like directly after the son said something along the lines of I think we should have a rest. So what the kid was probably saying was dad I'm tired I want to rest but in my mind <laughs> the kid was like okay we're gonna have a rest now because you're getting delirious you're getting you're getting excited about like stones and pattern. Jeez. Get your life together, Dad. <sighs> Maybe I'm the one going delirious. Oh my god, it's the Loch Ness Monster. Wait, no, that's just a stick. Oh my god, it's a stick. Me. I'm an adult. Boop. So the sun's back out, and I think we're coming to the end of our journey. Yeah, I've, I've, I'm after turning around and like, I'm almost back to the beginning of the park. But this has been an advert for your local park, where you'll find ducks and whatever the hell that is. Also dogs that you'll really want to make friends with, but they'll be like, nah, busy, son. One of them just stopped in front of me and I was so awkward that I just walked around it. I like dogs. <laughs> I like it when they just, they're so excited about life. And it makes me excited about life. And good, go to your local park, you'll see fun things. So I'm just going to leave this off here so that I can enjoy the rest of my walk without having to think about things to say to y'all. Jeez, you're ruining my life. <laughs> but yeah, I'll talk to y'all soon. Uh, yep, Sean. It's a dog. Look at the dog. It's adorable. Oh, you probably can't see much, but still it's an adorable dog.